Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna show you how to make the beat from Post Malone's recent track Circles. So I'm gonna show you how to make the beat the instrumental and I'm gonna go over explaining all the sounds and effects that I used. And in the next video I'm gonna go over how to make the vocals to sound like Post Malone even if you can't sing just like me. So I'm gonna take my bad vocals and I'm gonna turn them into good ones that actually sound good in the song. That will be in the next video, which is uploaded right after this one. So check it out as well. Also the FLP file of this project is available. Link will be below in the description, along with my big fat Christmas bundle, which is the biggest sale I'm doing ever. More on that later. Make sure to check it out. Now let's get started with the beat. So we start with the intro, which sounds like this in my remake. I think it's pretty close to the original, so let's break it down. So first we start with the guitar. I'm using Music Lab's real guitar and it's this acoustic steel preset and I set it to chords and this is the first layer and these are the chords and these are basically the strumming, the way the guitar goes, strum down and this is strum up, which makes the guitar a bit more realistic and I try to get the rhythm of the original song. It's not exactly the same, but it works pretty well. So that's the guitar, then we have another layer of the guitar, which I'm using the fingered guitar now. I put a bunch of effects on it, I put hardcore on it, which is like distortion plugin, but I only use the flanger and delay from it, so there's not really any distortion, but it sounds like this. I also deleted all the low frequencies, and this kind of adds more strumming into the whole guitar loop and makes it seem a bit more ambient and realistic, I guess. And more chilled out. So yeah, that's the guitar. I also put a bunch of reverb on the first guitar and that's pretty much it for the guitar. One more thing I did add is this guitar effect. And again, that just adds more realism to it. Then we have the electric guitar. I'm using Nexus for this one and I'm using the preset called Lone Cowboy from the guitar pack. And I have two of those, same preset but different effects. This one is more open. And as you can see we have these slide notes. So for this one I have reverb on it and some EQ to delete the high frequencies. And on the second one which sounds like this. This one is more detuned, which creates a pretty nice effect when you play them together. And the detune is made by Chorus, Fruity Chorus. And I, I think I just set it to the default preset and that created that detune effect. So together they sound like this. So yeah, that's the electric guitar. And the last thing in the intro is this serum preset, which is like an organ preset. It's from my Essential Future Bass pack, which I think is my best pack for presets. And it's playing the chords. And just adds a little bit more atmosphere to the whole intro. Then we move on to the first like breakdown or I don't know what you call it. Maybe it's chorus. And basically we repeat the whole thing but add drums and this sound which is from Flex. I just wanted to make the chord sounds a little bit more obvious. So that's why I used this preset from Flex. I made the attack higher so it's not too like punchy. And as far as the effects go, I deleted the low frequencies. And everything, all of these sounds are sidechained by the kick. So now let's move on to the drums, which were a bit tricky. So here are the drums. 
And all the samples I'm using are from my sample packs. And I actually got a huge deal going right now. It's like a pre-Christmas sale where I'm giving away all of my sample packs for the price of one sample pack. So all of these packs you see right here, you can get them for $20 right now. And the original price of these packs is $493, but I am planning to make a lot more new packs after Christmas. So I kind of want everyone to get these packs that were made previously. And there is 23 packs here and 10 different genres throughout the packs. As I said, it's discounted from $493 to $20. There is presets, there is samples, loops, FL Studio project files, everything you need for music production. You will find it here. Check it out, link will be below in the description. It's the big fat Christmas bundle and it's like the biggest sale I ever made. So definitely don't miss out on this deal. So all of the sounds I'm using here are from those packs. Here is what I came up with. I have this kick which was really important, it's like a layer. And it's almost like a top kick and it adds a nice punch to this kick which is more sub basic kick but it also has that white noise in it and that was important in the whole kick because in the original you can also hear the white noise so i wanted to have that and then we have this snare a lot of it is pitched down because that worked better than this snare and then some hi-hats and yeah, overall it sounds like this. And you really want to have these drums pretty loud in the whole mix. They really pierce through in the final mix, which is nice. First I had these drums, which were also decent, but I felt like these ones were more true to the original. So yeah, here is the chorus part of the song. Of course, one important thing that I added here is the bass. And let me talk about this bass. It was also pretty tricky to make. So we have three layers of bass, which is unusual already. But we have this kind of slap bass from Nexus. It's this picked bass preset. And we I lowered these frequencies because the other two layers of the bass will only be in these frequencies. So that's why I deleted this frequency from this bass. But then these two layers, we have this layer and it's octave higher than the previous one. Maybe so you can hear the bass even on like phone speakers and stuff like that. That's why you would want a higher layer. And then we have a boo bass from FL Studio set up like this. Also playing higher. And these two together are EQ'd like this. So we only have like these frequencies. You want that. 100 to 200 frequency range for this bass. It works really well and it's like a really huge bass in the whole mix. Put maximums on it so it doesn't clip, so everything is like compressed. And of course, I sign chained it with the kick. So every time the kick hits, the volume of the bass is lowered, so the kick and the bass don't overlap as much. And that's mostly it for the beat of the song. So let's preview the whole beat right now. Enjoy.
And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And make sure to check out the Big Fat Christmas Bundle. It's the biggest sale I ever did. And I don't want you to miss out on this. And if you want the FLP file of this project, check it out as well. Both links are below in the description. Anyways, thank you for watching again. And I'll see you in the next one. And in the next video, I will show you...